Okay, hey, welcome back to uh, Steve's uh, Cooking Corner. We're gonna kick it up a notch this time. We're gonna do a roast. So we're really gonna get it going with the protein intake. Uh, we're gonna use an inside round roast and you're gonna make your own rub today. This is an Indian inspired rub. It's got a couple of key things going into it. You have black peppercorns, fennel seeds, whole, cloves, mustard seeds, whole, sea salt, cinnamon stick, coriander seeds, and one star of anise. Uh, other things we're working with are canola oil, coffee grinder, and I'm going to use a meat thermometer because I want to make sure it's at the perfect uh, cook temperature inside when it's done in the oven. Okay, so basically we're going to just pan um, roast these herbs. All we want to do is uh, open up the spice flavors a little bit and there's no method, just toss them all in. Whole, obviously, peppercorns, sea salt, coriander, and cinnamon. While they're cooking, just shake them around a little bit. Now you're probably wondering to yourself, how am I gonna know when this is done? It's really easy. Mustard corns are gonna start popping. So as soon as you start hearing a little popping sound from the mustard corns, you're done. Simply close off the heat and set the pan aside. Let things cool up a bit. Okay, so you can hear the mustard's just starting to pop. Now if you're in the room with me right now, you'd also have a second way to tell if things are ready. It's the smell. The spices are starting to open up. Okay, and that's, that's done. Okay, off with the heat and just let it rest for a sec. Okay, most of you urbanites probably have a coffee grinder. Uh, if you don't, they're super cheap at a hardware store. I just basically adding all the spices into the grinder and press the button. Done. Okay, so basically next, we're just gonna sprinkle it all over the roast, give it a good rub. If you're in the room right now, the smells are insanely amazing. Uh, Star Anise is on the go right now. That's got a bit of a licorice smell to it. I love it. I'm gonna coat all of it. Okay, now you're probably noticing as a health enthusiast, there's a good line of fat on there. We're gonna cook with it, you're not gonna eat it. So once we slice it up later on, you're not gonna actually eat that, but it's gonna add flavor all the way through. Okay, don't forget to get the ends, tip and top, and add it onto the fat as well. Okay, basically pressing it right in like that. Now ideally, let it rest at room temperature for a good 30 minutes, and you're good so, to go. We're just gonna throw the skillet right onto the heat. We're gonna work with canola oil, uh, has a relatively good uh, heat level as far as oils go, and it's a little bit better for you. I'm putting in two tablespoons of oil. Uh, at the same time, I've got the oven set at 350 degrees, okay? So we're not gonna super cook this roast. We're gonna, gonna do it nice and slow. This step, we're searing the roast. So once this oil gets nice and hot, I'm gonna sear it for a total of 10 minutes, flipping it probably every two minutes so that all the sides get seared. A couple of ways you can tell that. Visually, you can watch that it's shimmering. Don't know if that shows well on camera. Um, a lot of people toss a little bit of water into it, a couple of sprinkles to see what that happens with that. That's uh, not hugely recommended because it's a bit dangerous. It's gonna splatter a bit, like that. Uh, what most people do is just drop a little bit of parsley in and see what happens. So that's looking pretty good. So let's get rid of the parsley. And we're looking at 10 minutes total sear time, so we're gonna cheat and start our clock. Straight into the oil. So just watch it doesn't splatter on you. I'm just doing a full turnover now. Let that keep going for another two minutes. This roast is reinvented every two days at my house. Starts out as a Sunday dinner, Monday lunch it's in a salad at work, and then Tuesday night we do fajitas up. Yeah, it's perfect. That's where you get protein every yeah. day. Yeah. Every meal. Yeah. When you're working out, your body needs that protein. You can get it from a lot of, a lot of different sources. Uh, chicken has protein, grains have proteins, legumes have protein, beef clearly has proteins. So it's just a matter of doing the dish once to make your 
a week easy because you're going to be busy at the gym all the time. You can't cook this kind of food all the time. So do it once and then make it work for you for the rest of the week. Okay, searing's done. Flames off on the pan. I'm going to work with a, a meat thermometer. If you don't have one, basically you're in the oven at 350 for about 25 to 30 minutes. That's going to give you a nice medium uh, rare cook inside. I'm going to put it in about halfway down into the meat product. You don't want to touch any bones if you're working with a roast that has a bone. You're going to insert it into the thickest part of the meat, just like that and then it's straight into the oven. When is it done? I like to finish it at 120, then you're gonna take it out and let it rest on a plate for about 10 minutes. Leave the thermometer in because you want the temperature to rise up to 130 in total before you even start to slice it. Then you're good to go. Just transferring the whole product over onto this platter. And then I'm gonna use uh, a bit of aluminum foil just to, basically we want it to keep cooking. Wrap it up. Probably about 10 minutes, but basically we're letting the thermometer tell us. So when it, when it jumps up to about 130, you're good to go. This dish is great. It's uh, good served hot right out of the oven once it's rested, or you can let it go to room temperature and serve it then. So if you've got a lot of people coming over dinner, cook this up, slice it, plate it, and leave it at room temperature so you're ready with the rest of your food. Okay, there's our roast. Uh, I'd like to show you more, but uh, Jay's uh, made his way through a good chunk of that <laughs> roast already, so it didn't last long. I think that's a good sign. <laughs> Easy to do, high in protein, it's going to get you through the week just fine. Enjoy it, uh, see you next time.